Now, whenever you do a ping sweep or a port scan, you're going to generate a signature that can be picked up by an intrusion detection system. If somebody using packet capturing software like Snort or Ethereum. Um, and that signature, you know, think about it. You're slowly going up different IP addresses or methodically going up IP addresses in a network. So they can look at the field data, the source field and destination field at layer 3, the TCP IP, or they can look at the um, source and destination field data at layer 2, the MAC address, and realize that a ping sweep is being carried out on their network. Um, and then they can track it back to your source IP because by default, you know, when you're running a map, whatever you're you know, using for your pings and ICMP traffic, it's going to tack on your IP address as the you know source IP that it came from. So one of the things you might want to do is specify a decoy or spoof an IP of a valid host or server on the network, and that sometimes can fool an intrusion detection system into thinking that that ping sweep or that port scan is is coming from a system on its own network and maybe even a system that it trusts. Um, so to do that, I need to use sudo. And I'm going to use nmap. I'm going to specify lowercase s, capital S, to do a port scan this time. And I'm going to do 199.207.13. Uh, let me see what let me see what we have here. I'm going to do I'm going to do my iPod. Let me let me see. I'm trying to remember what my iPod IP was. And the last it was 17. The last time I did a ping sweep. So I'm going to check my jailbroken iPod here and I'm going to use the dash D option for a decoy or to spoof an IP and I'm going to use the IP of a valid server on the network so 199.207.13.13 and that was my cat Sparky alright and so my jailbroken iPod is pretty looks like it's pretty secure there or 17 Try that one more time. Spoofing an IP here. Cat seems to approve. And it's scanning, still completing the port scan. Okay. Um, interesting ports. 908 closed ports. There's a state service, in this case, you know, for iTunes, the iPhone sync service on the iPod. And it is jailbroken. So 22 for a secure shell. That's you know that's a useful feature when you jailbreak it. And um, let's look at let me look at one more. Uh, that was the iPod, the jailbroken iPod. Let me let me look at my Linux cell phone. And again, I'll just spoof an IP. So do a port scan on that. And. Going through and a thousand ports scanned and they're all closed. So my Linux phone's you know pretty secure, pretty locked down there. Here's an XP machine uh, that I found on my network. And again, the sudo in that. Uh, I'm going to do a port scan just to figure out what services are running on this XP machine. And I discovered it's 199.207.13.12 um, is the IP address. All right, I'm going to initiate my port scan. And, you know, looking at that, I, I, you know, I've gleaned some information. 995 closed ports, but the ones that are open are quite interesting. And I'm um, actually you know, like 137 to 139, that's pretty much net bias. So I know that there are some shares, there are some network shares I might want to look at. Um, in this case, from 445, that just sort of makes it compatible with Active Directory. It's still part of NetBIOS, but Microsoft's new implementation of that with Active Directory. This is interesting. I can see there's a VNC server running. Um, and that's for, you know, remote access or remote connection. So again, if I were gathering information, along with the MAC address and the IP address and the host name, that would give me a lot of information about things I might want to try to exploit on that particular host. So I'm ping sweeping and port scanning and just looking at different bits and pieces of information I can gather on the network. Um, 
One of the useful things to know is which operating system a particular IP address is, you know, a host. And not always, but sometimes you can glean that information with the dash capital O option with nmap. So I'm going to try that. sudo dash uh, nmap dash capital O, that switch option. And let's try to grab the operating system. So I'm going to try 199 207 13 12. Okay, and I noted that that's Microsoft Windows XP, and actually it is Service Pack 3 there. Um, no, it's not 100% sure. It uses a combination of techniques on a port scan to try to figure out, you know, ask, uh, to try to basically pinpoint the host operating system by a, a signature. But you know, I know what's in the ballpark there. That you know, I know that that's XP. Um, let's let's try a few more of these. Um, never try this. I'm gonna try this with an Android tablet. And I know just from ping sweeping and port scanning that that was Android. I, I was able to get an Arcos. I know it's an Arcos internet tablet or Android tablet there. Okay, and Android is Linux. And no, notice it's running Linux. So here's the kernel version 2.6 something. Not quite sure, but we know that it's 2.6 something, 2.6.9, just 2.6.28, one hop. Um, and again, if I were to just specify this as, as a normal port scan, um, I'm going to just port scan a particular host. Um, notice it's an Arcus. So I know it's Android, I know it's an internet tablet. And I even know now the Android, you know, the what version of the Linux kernel that that Android tablet is using. Um, now I haven't been able to get much on my Linux phone. It's running Mamo and Debian and Android. It's a triple boot on the, the cell phone. Let's see if I can get any information on the cell phone. Um, and again, I'm just going to use the dash O option. And I know from ping sweeping and port scanning that my phone was 19 on this network. And okay, yeah, it's pretty locked down, pretty secure there. And last, um, let's, let's see if we can find something interesting here. Um, we had found, remember we found it registered as an iPhone, but I know it's an iPod, because I don't have an iPhone. I have, all I have is a jailbreak and iPod. And right now, um, I, I know that its IP, based on what it was identified as, um, was 17 when I did the ping sweep. So um, again, if I did... If I did this, you know, I can, you know, here's the secure cell server. It's jailbroken, so I can log in iPhone sync with iTunes. So let me try that with the dash O option, dash capital O, and see if any if there's any other you know, bits or pieces of information we might glean about that jailbroken iPod. Okay. And notice it's given us Leopard and Darwin and Apple Mac OS 10 um, in 10.5 here. So Leopard, not Snow Leopard, but this is the signature that it's generating, along with the MAC address and some interesting ports here for iTunes. And you know, Secure Shell is definitely an interesting port um, in terms of thinking of possible exploits against that jailbroken iPod. Not sure what is on there that's valuable, but I guess if we wanted to. So just looking at nmap and some different command line uh, switch options. Um, now what about, remember we were, we're talking about previously about maybe piggybacking a scan over port 80 if ICMP or you know other kinds of traffic were being blocked. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to try one of those, so sudo nmap, just to use some of the, these different switch options. I'm going to specify a port in this case, the dash p switch. And I'm going to go ahead and specify to use capital O and 199.207.13. Let me do 17. And let me see. There, let's rewatch that there. Okay. And I got the MAC address and it's picking it up as an Apple iPhone. All right. And FreeBSD, and it's not quite sure, but it's it's actually an iPod. 
but that's just running at 3 port 80. So, you know, again, a few more bits and pieces of information, but there were just too many fingerprints running over port 80. And finally, you know, if you want to look at, you know, just to list all the switches, just use nmap-h. So let me clear this and um, I'm going to do nmap-h. Just to list some of the switches and things. So you look at all the different possibilities. Oh, the possibilities with nmap. The switches, the switches, the switches. 